Tonight, two grieving parents fighting for justice for their murdered daughter. As John Sherrick explains, their fight to keep the man in prison is their life sentence. She is forever 19. She was cut short at 19. Shannon Melendi. It's tough. It's very tough. Murdered at 19, forever the light of her parents' lives. She had a dream to be on the Supreme Court. Yvonne and Louis Melendi, embracing tender memories of Shannon and her promise, speak of the trial and conviction in 2005 of the man who kidnapped, raped, and murdered her. Butch Hinton, sentenced back then to life in prison. Case closed, they thought. Shannon is dead forever, and he should be in prison forever. I felt betrayed. Under Georgia law, Butch Hinton must now be considered for parole. He has served less than 15 years of his life sentence. He does have a sliver of hope. He shouldn't have any hope at all. It was John Petrie who in 2005 helped lead the team that developed the case against Hinton for murder and convinced the jury to convict Hinton. Butch Hinton was the first person ever convicted of murder in Georgia in a case without the victim's body and without a crime scene. We, the jury, find the defendant, Colvin C. Hinton III, guilty. As to count two, felony murder, how does the jury find it? We, the jury, find the defendant, Colvin C. Hinton III, guilty. Petrie says he tried, but was not able under the laws then to seek a sentence of life without parole. If it was available, you, yes, sir, absolutely, we would have sought life without parole. Uh, he was, he, he is a monster. He was and is a predator, and he is... He's still young enough that he could very well hurt people when he gets out. Members of Georgia's Board of Pardons and Paroles are now each reviewing Hinton's case file. Then they will vote. Their decision could be days or weeks away. If Hinton is denied parole this time around, the Melendez know they'll have to keep up the pressure for the next time he's eligible. And we'll be in our 80s by then. And they do not want their parole fight to be Monique's to fight for the rest of her life. My father has definitely passed the baton to me, and, and that's fine. I'm going to fight until the day he dies. They pray, and their hearts speak to Shannon. Help us get through this. We miss you, we love you, and help us get through it. I believe in God. I believe that Shannon is in a good place right now but what was left behind by Hinton's murder is a mess. Their life sentence without parole, forever fighting for Shannon. All right, so for the second time, Hinton is up for parole. So that means that the Melindys are, are in limbo land right now as they wait for the parole board to make a decision. They are, and in fact, Louis Melendi tells me he understands some murderers might deserve parole, but not sexual predators who murder, not Butch Hinton. And at last check, no one, no family members, no friends of Butch Hinton has contacted the parole board supporting parole. And so the big question tonight, if Hinton is denied parole this time around, the Melendez just have to wait. In fact, the average lifer in Georgia serves 25 years, and for Hinton, that would be 10 years from now. All right, thanks a lot, John.